Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things today. First, I'm going to be talking about the game on Thursday against Blackpool. Now, I kind of missed half of the first half because I was at work. I finished work at 8 o'clock, but I didn't, ma I didn't get out until like 10 minutes past 8. And I was on my way home in the taxi. I was live streaming the game on my phone. I went mental when we scored both of our goals while I was in the taxi. The taxi driver was looking at me kind of weird, but at the end of the day, I have a lot of passion for Luton. And like I thought the first half, we wanted it more than Blackpool. We wanted it. And then when we went on to the second half, we were, obviously we were going for that third. We got the third. Obviously, Danny Hilton did die for that penalty. It was disappointing that he did die. Or rather, he got contact, but obviously. But at the end of the day, we should have had a penalty at Blackpool where we were in the first leg. So, in a way, it was kind of like justice that we got um, a penalty. Also, I do apologise if you do hear any rain as I carry on in this video. I, can't, I cannot help it. It's been raining so much the last few days, but I needed to get a video out. And it's currently raining now. So I do apologise about that. Well, I thought Pelly Ruddock was our most dangerous player. I, I saw like a few comments on social media saying that how how of a bad game he had. I thought every time he got the ball, he was the only player in in our midfield which looked dangerous going forward. I thought Oli Lee had a really good game. I don't understand why he got like I don't understand why he got substituted for Jordan Cook. Jordan Cook shouldn't have even came on. If you're gonna bring on a player, I'd rather he brought on Luke Gabin, but he didn't do it. Um, obviously, Blackpool got their goal. Obviously, that's a lack of communication from Moore and Cuff. But at the end of the day, Moore shouldn't have came out. But if they talked to each other, that goal would have never have happened. So it's all about communication. And I did mention this to my dad at the start of the season when we played against Plymouth. And I know we won 3-0, but I said to my dad that communication looks like it's going to be a problem this season. And it's just proved me right. And obviously, when Blackpool got that second goal, you can only it was going one way, and that was Blackpool's way, and they got that goal. We did have chances that game. Believe it or not, we did have chances. We could have finished the game off. We didn't. Overall, this season has been a disappointment, but we have improved this season. Obviously, last season, we did finish 11th. But this year, we finished fourth. So that means that is improvement. Now, next year, we have to finish in the top three. So Nathan Jones, he's got a, like, a really big summer ahead of him. He's got to bring in the right players, and he's got to get rid of the players who he doesn't want. Now, recently, literally about 15 minutes ago, before I started recording this video, Nathan Jones has announced the players which are getting released and are not getting a contract. Now... I am kind of happy with some of these decisions which Nathan Jones has made. Now, the first player which I'm really happy about, I'm going to get this out of the way, is O'Donnell. O'Donnell, for the last two years, is I believe has been the worst right back I've ever seen in English football. Now, the reason why I say this is because I've never seen a right back who can't defend or cross a ball. So, I'm really happy now he has left the club, which is one... I've been asking him to leave for ages, but I've now got my wish. I don't like deliberately, like I don't always tend to moan at O'Donnell's, but he always annoys me, so I end up um, getting on his back quite a lot. And I did, I should have supported him a little bit more, but I, I got fed up with him, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, Danny Green has left the club. Obviously, he hasn't featured all season because of his injury. Like, obviously, he got injured. And that, so, it's not really a massive big deal. I felt gutted for him on the first season because he's actually a really good set piece taker. But he's going. Um, Zane Banton got an attitude problem. I can only see him heading to non-league anyway. So goodbye, Zane Banton. Um, Mikel Smith. I feel sorry for Craig Mikel Smith because first season he literally he was he played. I thought he played really well. Like he never got the service which he needed. But he didn't create enough goals himself. So I can see why he's going. And obviously Gooch is going. I think that's how you say his name. Um, young goalkeeper. I haven't seen him play. So I can't really give an opinion about him. So yeah. So obviously I think it's the right decision. Um, Nathan Jones getting rid of them players. I know he's offered contracts to Potts and Masonda, I believe. And he's offered Craig King as well, a new deal as well. So yeah, that's all the players who get going and all the players who are staying. Now, 
I will do another video um, in the upcoming weeks about what players I think we need to sign um, to make the squad a lot better. I will be doing um, videos when we do sign new players. Obviously, I'll do a little bit of research about these players and I'll show you guys um, some maybe some like, highlights of these players in their careers. So, in the upcoming weeks, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the goals and highlights. Basically, recently, like, well, not recently, but in January, I did a video about Cameron. Like, I did a video um, to. Um, about Cameron McGeehan. I did his goals and assists highlights. I'm going to be doing that with some of the players um, this season. I only can do the midfield and the goals. So the likes, so the players which I'm going to be doing are Danny Hilton, Isaac Vassell, Jack Marriott, Paddy Rodder, Jordan Cook, Ollie Lee. So they are the only players which I'm going to be doing goals and assists highlights for out of them players so i will get them videos done as soon as possible i'm also going to be doing videos about certain things which has annoyed me this season so for example i'm annoyed that um, cuthbert is captain at the moment i will be doing a video about that so i'm going to be doing videos like that throughout the whole um pre-season like type of thing um so we obviously there's gonna be plenty of videos gonna be coming out in the in the upcoming week so don't worry i know football season is over but i will manage to find and create some ideas to upload onto the channel so yeah that's pretty much it i think i've covered everything obviously comment down below if you want to see certain types of videos as well i'm also considering of doing like um, real life football videos where i go out uh, when i go out i actually get out of the house i actually play some actual football and try and re like try to re recreate um i tried to recreate some of the goals which we scored this season so so if you want to see like some ideas like that or see some types of videos which i've already mentioned obviously suggest some video ideas which you want to see on the channel in the comment section of this video if you don't tell me i don't do it so yeah, I've already someone's already tweeted me like an idea which I will be doing in the upcoming week. So if you've got a video idea which you want to see from me, comment down below or contact me on Twitter. Obviously, follow me, follow my socials. They're all all in the link in the description below. So obviously, go and check that out. Obviously, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy it, and obviously subscribe if you are new to Hats TV. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. Only come out and